Hi friends, I'm Lisa from Imagine If Columbia Falls, um, and you're at home with Imagine If in my kitchen today. Um, you know how usually we have Wired Wednesdays at the library where we get to do fun stuff with big kids? Uh, well, I that's one of my favorite parts of the week. I'm really missing you all right now. So I was thinking that we could make some of the things that we do in Wired Wednesdays. So I'm gonna hang out with the only medium-sized kid that I have here. Hi! This is Lily. And remind you of how to make those no-bake cookies that we make at the library. Cookies? Oh, wait, did I say cookies? I meant healthy um, energy bites. Uh, they are cookies. <gasps> Just don't tell the grown-ups. <laughs> also, since there's grown-ups, it has to be steam, right? It has to be science and tech and E for engineering and A for art and M for math, right? And if it's if it's steam, then it's school. And then your parents will yet let you. Exactly. So, so was she. today um, our project is going to be a little bit of math because we're going to be measuring, measuring. Um, but it's mostly engineering. So engineers use math and um, science to help solve problems, um, to, to create things and to, to solve challenges. So your challenge is in making these cookies. I mean, energy bites. healthy energy bites, um, is how do you get healthy stuff, healthy stuff to taste good and stick together? Well, you could use honey and peanut butter. For the sticking together part. Yum. Okay. Nutty. All right. So we can do, and you can use um, seed, seed butter if, you're, if you can't have peanuts or any nut butter. Um, and for healthy stuff, all right, how about lots of healthy energy bites have oats in them? Mm. Okay, well that, oats are gonna be some of, well we could also, we could add some cereal. We could add, how about some, some pecans, some nuts. Maybe. Not doing too well with the, how about seeds? Yeah. Seeds. And we could do some coconut. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good, he yummy, healthy thing. We could do some, yeah, so that's pretty good. So we've got the healthy stuff and we've got the yummy stuff and we've got the, oh, yummy stuff. Yum, oh, yum. okay. We <laughs> Okay, add some chocolate chips, a few chocolate chips. Or maybe a lot. Maybe a lot of chocolate chips. And we've got some other things, seeds and, and cereals. And we're going to stick it together with um, some nut butter um, or some seed butter and some honey. All right. Does that sound, that sound good? Yep. All right. So let's prototype. So prototyping is where you, you take your theory which is our idea of how all this is gonna work. And you build kind of a model, you, you, you do it, you try it, you test it out. So, ready? Let's start with, what should we start with? Well, we've got a little recipe here. Oh, we do, we do, we do have a little recipe. This is pretty um, straightforward and you can change this, but this is a, our little recipe that we're gonna kind of follow that, follow. And we'll show you, we'll show you this again at the end. But, so, what are we gonna start with? Lily? One cup of cereal. One cup of cereal. All right, I'll take these out. We'll measure. Can I pour it in? Yeah. Do you want to pour it in the bowl? Maybe. All right. I have a cup of syrup. Maybe, maybe one more bit because I don't really like chunky bits in my things like Yes. Eat. What should we use to, to. Aha! Yes. All right. <laughs> Go for it. Are you going to scrunch it? Well, first I gotta put the stuff in it. All right, I'm gonna leave Lily over here to do the the smushing, which is a part that I know um, the wired kids at the library really, really like to do. Sometimes we pound it with pestle, mortar and pestle, and sometimes we smash it. Things <laughs> we smashed it with hammers before. Oh, this is getting noisy. How about scrunch? Oh. You see it? We need to get some of that air out. That's tricky. Hang on. Air. All right. Really squish them. Squish, squish, squish. And I'm going to get some of the other stuff. So we're going to put some oats. How many oats, Lily? Really? Um, one half, a half a cup of oats. A half cup. I've got my half cup measure. If you've only got a one cup measure, you just do half of it. 
So, I have a half a cup of milk. Okay. A little over. That's okay. This is not a uh, very precise recipe. So, should we do some? You like to put it on. Now, how much of the coconut do you would say? Or the About seeds? a third cup. About a third of a cup. So this is our third cup measure. I'm going to do a little bit of coconut and let's call it. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's fine. That we, we can smush it a little bit more. So can we get some seeds as well? Can you open up the seeds? So it's a third of a cup of all of your nuts and your seeds and stuff. So you, you just up whatever you want. Seed explosion, that's it. That's poor. If you want to get, how about use this to scoop? That's all right, don't worry about it. Let it go, in the words of Elsa. Okay. <laughs> all right. And put that, that into here. All right, get over. That's okay too. All right, so are we gonna, and we're not gonna do nuts because Lily was not enthusiastic. Not enthusiastic about nuts. All right. So, and then, um, what else did we have? <laughs> Can we hear all the seeds? Well, some oh, nuts or seed butter. Oh, the nuts or seed butter. Do we have all of our dry ingredients? <laughs> she, she's just raining. I know. Um, sometimes. All right. So, how much of this? Um, uh, a cup. A whole cup. All right. Almost a non-Newtonian fluid, isn't it? I think it doesn't right. work. All right. So All right. I oh, think That's a bit. A little bit under but I'm going to go with a little bit less. Our recipe says, "Oh, I how about do you want to use a spoon?" Yeah, I think I'll leave the use this. Alright. And we're also going to add some honey. Yeah. I'm going to add, and it says, our little recipe says, a quarter of a cup of honey, which is good because I don't have a whole lot of honey. Oh. That's all right. I'm going to sleep so <laughs> Take the whole lid off, should we? <laughs> Alright, let's take the lid off. <laughs> Honey is viscous. Remember viscosity? It's the rate of flow of a liquid. And honey well, has a very slow viscosity. It has a it does. It has a low vis it has actually a high viscosity. It's, it's, uh, it has a low rate of flow. Especially when it's been sitting in the cupboard. For over a year. <laughs> Alright. Cool patterns by swishing it around. Alright, and then. Should I do this? You do some scraping? Put some peanut butter on it. <laughs> They're gonna mix. Oh. Alright. Grab off a little bit. Takes a little bit. This is gonna taste so good. So now we've got our. Thanks. We've got our healthy stuff and we've got our sticky stuff to stick it all together, so we're all good, right? We did not forget. Somebody did not forget. All right, that's good. So. About, it says a half cup of chocolate chips. Alright. 
Bachelor of choice? The green one, please. All right. Then you just get in there and you mix it. And at the library, we normally do, um, we normally roll this into, into balls right at this stage, or once we've mixed it. Oh. You know what I'm thinking? The other thing we add at the library is raisins. That's kind of what everybody thinks at the library too. Nope. Or not. Um, all right, it's mixing up well. Can you see this? Yes. Looks pretty good. Almost looks like cookie dough. It's pretty good, sticky. It smells pretty good. I know you can't smell, but this smells pretty good. Um, all right, so should we roll it into balls right away? Well, I think it'd be easier to roll it into balls if we put it in the freezer for a little while. Ah. So at the library, we, we normally put it in the freezer after we rolled it into balls, but Lily is suggesting that we um, do the opposite. In in this prototype, this engineer says freeze first, roll later. So let's give that a try. All right, we will see you in a moment. Later. All right, we're back. Um, we just chilled our cookie dough, our uh, energy, energy bite, bite. dough. Um, and this is how it looks. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty solid. You want to poke that? Feel solid enough? Like it's not as messy as it usually is at the library. So then you just take a little bit. We're going to get a spoon. I'm gonna grab it tastes a little really bit. good. <laughs> Tasty already. And however much, however big you, you think, you can get. Do you want to use a spoon? You can get one. No, why? Oh, you <laughs> can make me do that. All right. And then you just roll it. And remember that the, your hands will warm it up, so the more that you roll it, the squishier it'll get. But you just kind of roll it, wash your hands first, yeah. roll it into a little bowl, and there you go. There's your main bake. And we could even freeze this again. And or, make or it refrigerate even solider. It. Yeah, even solider. <laughs> that's a scientific term right there. Yeah. All right, so there you go. The most... How's it taste? <laughs> so our process, our prototype, we we did this. Mix, chill, roll, and we're on this stage. <laughs> we're on the we're on that last stage. We're on the enjoy stage. I didn't get to enjoy it. Yet. And this was our recipe that we we followed. Well, we sort of followed because we forgot to add the <laughs> forgot to add the cereal. I also notice a slight discrepancy in the recipe. This recipe says a third of a cup of chocolate chips. I think we may have added a half a cup. Hmm. Um, so anyway, that's our recipe. If you want to pause the video and use that, feel free. If, um, but remember, this is your engineering challenge. You can decide. You can decide what you want to add and how much of everything to add. Um, I went way under a, a cup of peanut butter because it seemed like a lot um, and it's a very strong taste. So experiment, you know, maybe you'll make one batch and it'll be fairly yummy, but you might need to make a second batch. I think we might need to make a second batch. <laughs> We've cemented her mouth together. <laughs> and don't forget, turn around the other way so you can see what that is. Don't forget the chocolate chips. Very important. We're not going to have <laughs> all right have fun um, i hope your uh, your grown-ups will let you make these you can use almost anything to make these as long as you've got something sticky um and some healthy stuff and something yummy all right well see you next time and um we miss you hopefully we'll see you <laughs> again soon <laughs> bye